Many people in the data industry write SQL every single day. But if you want to start writing SQL queries like a pro, then start using these functions that I use at my work to make my SQL coding super efficient. The first function that we are going to take a look at today is the accept function. Now, the accept function helps you select a set of data and then exclude a subset of data from that set of data. So as you can see on the screen, the example here is pulling all the products that I have in my database except all the products that actually have an order item associated with them. So I'm able to pull all the products that I've never sold. Next, we are going to take a look at row number. Now row number helps you assign a number to each of the rows in your results set, and it can do so by partitioning based on a certain column. So for example, if you have a column named category name, and you want to partition your results set by categories like laptops, mobile phones, and cameras, and then assign them a row number in descending order of list price to find the most expensive product that you have in that category, which will be row number one, then you can do so. You can also change the order to ascending and you would get the most cheapest product as row number one. Dense rank is the same as row number for the most part, but if two products within a category have the same price, then the dense rank assigns them the same number as opposed to row number, which will assign them the next incremental number. Next up is list aggregate, which can give you the results set grouped by a specific column, let's say brand name, and then give you a concatenated comma separated list of all the products that fall within that brand. For example, if you have multiple brands like Apple, Google, Samsung, and you have multiple products within each of those brands, then the resultant set would be Apple in the first column, and then Apple products in the corresponding column with a comma separated list. Same for Google, same for Samsung. The list does not need to be comma separated, and you can choose to have any delimiter here that you want. Do not forget to group by the column that you actually want your lists grouped by. Last but not the least is lag. Lag when applied on a certain column helps you get the value of that column from the previous row. So for example, if you have a data set which gives you total sales by month and then you apply lag on the total sales column and order it by month, then this column would have the sales from the previous month on the same row. And then you can further use that column to subtract it from total sales to get the sales different. Pretty cool, huh? Follow for more.